All right, uh, this video here, let's look at finding the determinant of a matrix using WX Maxima. All right, and WX Maxima, it's a free program you can download. Uh, just Google WX Maxima, and it's probably the first link, and you can install it. It's a, real, it's a really good program. So here we have matrix A is 1, 4, 3, 1, negative 3, negative 2, 2, 5, 4, and we want to find the determinant. So we pull up WX Maxima, <clears throat> and the first thing we want to do is enter a matrix. So I'll come up here to Algebra, and see here where it says Enter Matrix. I click that, and I want it to be a 3x3, three three, and you can change this to whatever size matrix you have. I got three rows, three columns, and I'm going to name it. I'm going to call this Matrix A. You can call it whatever you like. You can call it matrix B or whatever. And I hit OK. And so now I have to enter in the matrix. So if you recall the matrix, it was 1, 4, 3, 1, negative 3, negative 2, 2, 5, 4. And I hit OK. And you can see that it there's my matrix. And the other way you could do is you could type matrix and type all this in and hit enter and it'll do the same thing. I just find it easier to enter a matrix to just to use the command here. Okay. And one thing you have to remember also if you type it in you have to put the colon at the end or it won't work. Okay. So now we want to find the determinant. So I'm going to type in determinant Okay. and then parentheses I want to take the determinant of matrix A Okay, and notice it, it went ahead and put the other parentheses there so I'm going to space over to get outside the parentheses and I'm going to put my semicolon and I hit enter and there it is the determinant is negative 1 alright so hopefully this helped uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other videos. Okay, thanks.